Hi, my name is Greg Paulson. I'm the Director of Project Engineering at Zometry. I want to talk today about two processes to make 3D printed plastic parts, fused deposition modeling and selective laser sintering. FEM starts with a raw material that is a plastic filament. That filament is extruded out a heated hot end and zigzag back and forth uh, creating the shape of the part from the bottom to the top. SLS starts very differently with a nylon powder. This powder is heated and then on a layer by layer basis is fused by a laser and we actually dig the parts out from the uncentered powder and clean them off for the final part. So using the same 3D CAD model, we actually build a part using FDM, in this case this is our ASA orange material, and SLS using our durable white nylon material. Geometrically they are identical and mechanically they're very strong and stiff. The way they're made may change the way that you use them for application. And I can just show you a little difference right now. So FDM is built on a layer by layer basis but has a it has small micro gaps inside it. So when you are looking for watertight or airtight applications, you're going to find that FDM tends to have leakage coming out the sides, where SLS is a fully fused material. So if you're using, uh, using this for anything that has either water or airtight applications, you're not going to find any leakage and it may be better suited for that process. I hope you found this helpful. We love making parts at Zometry and are always happy to help you with your next application or next project need. As always, go to Zometry.com for helpful tips using our blogs, our uh, support desk, or our, our help desk uh, system online. We also have live chat and are always happy to answer any questions over the phone. Thank you so much.